شیطان الرجیم بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم اطیع الله اطیع الرسول و اولو الامر منکم and always a reminder for myself and abdul al ajis al daif wa miskin wa zalim wa jahal but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence. Alhamdulillah this holy month of Dhul Qidr, the holy month of 11, the reality of 11, the reality of La ilaha illallah reflecting to Muhammadun Rasulullah sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Yeah. Alhamdulillah that this way of marifa, this way of Gnosticism, this way of realities is beyond what people can comprehend. When we describe all the realities and all the ishq and love that Allah has for Sayyidina Muhammad and the reality of eleven, the reality of La ilaha illallah that I'm a hidden treasure wanting to be known and that Allah brought into existence the reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah Again a reminder for myself that La ilaha illallah means that there is no God and the only divinity is God, is Allah. There is no God, no divinity except Allah which is a universal word for the Creator. The, that phrase itself doesn't allow you to think creation is there. So it means there's nothing, nothing in this ocean but the Creator, source of all power, source of all will, source of every reality but no creation is there because we don't have partnership with the Divine, we don't have a proximity to the Divine where you can share a, a space, a breath, a glance of that reality. In, in that reality to see that reality and Allah I was a hidden treasure and I'm, I am still a hidden treasure wanting to be known. And Allah brings into existence creation, that ocean in which creation is manifesting from is Muhammadun Rasulullah So by the ocean of creation is to worship the Creator and to find the Creator and to find the signs of the Creator in the ocean of creation and to contemplate about the Creator through the ocean of creation. So you can't contemplate about the Creator of wh where is Allah, how is Allah, when did Allah, astaghfirullah to contemplate within the ocean of creation the greatness, the signs, the magnificence and munificence of the Creator. If we understood that then we understand the immensity of this phrase Muhammadun Rasulullah It has everything to do with knowing the Creator, glorifying the Creator, loving the Creator because only through that mirror can we understand its reality because nobody can look to the Creator. So you look to the mirror of that reality called Muhammadun Rasulullah If we can't look to the sun. And you can't even look to bright shining lights, they have lights in this room that uh, bright and you look and it feel like your, your retinas are coming out. If you can't look to that light, how humanity thinks that 
they can go directly to Allah and that they'll deal directly with Allah But tariqah has come to bring the reality of what Prophet was teaching his holy companions is that the reflection of Allah is in His creation and the greatest reflection of Allah is in the reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah That's why Allah teaching Prophet to teach people, I'm not in heaven, I'm not on earth but I'm in the heart of the one whom believes in me. Why? Because the heart is the mirror. When they look to their heart, their desires, their wants, what they circumambulated in life will be in their heart. If they only wanted a fancy car then what they're going to have? They're not going to find the Creator, it's just going to be their material desires. And that's why Allah is teaching that, I'm not anywhere that you're going to find me, you're not of that uh, reality but I'll be in the heart of the one whom loves me, the one whom believes in me, Bal bil mu'min baytullah. So then we make our heart to be a house for Allah in which we love the Divine, we love that which Allah loves and then that reality of the mirror that Allah will be known through that mirror, Allah will be loved and understood through that mirror. And that's the reality that Allah is asking for us. Otherwise without that mirror how are we going to know what Allah By who? By ancient aliens? Are we going to know what generosity is, what love is, what is compassion? Is that the collective whole of compassion? At one time they were sacrificing humans, uh, everything. Was that compassion or it's based on a, a scale by humanity or a mor- moral code that's based on humanity? Or Allah sent us a standard that, look to my mirror, قُلِينِ كُنْتُمْ تُهِبُونَ Allah. if you want my love And if it's me that you're seeking fatabiyuni and that fatabiyuni is in reference to follow the way of Sayyidina Muhammad follow Sayyidina Muhammad and the way of that reality, I will love you and I'll grant you that love. Means that everywhere we're looking Allah is pushing us to find me, find me. Go to all the Prophets and see that you found me but with an imperfection. Each one had committed a sin that made an imperfection in the reflection of their reality. And the one closest to Prophet Sayyidina Isa salam, in time and in arrival and says that, I have an imperfection because my people took me as their Lord, as God. As a result of that imperfection all my community must go to your door for intercession. Means then all of them were mirrors and Allah wants that you love all the mirrors, all the books. That's why Islam is complete. We have to believe in, in all the religions, we have to believe in all the holy books, we have to believe in the angels, we have to believe in all the Prophets. Alayhim salam, peace and blessings be upon all their souls because they're the mirrors of the Divine. You have to love a mirror that representing Allah You have to respect them, that's why you can't go down, you can only go up. You can't take one of your mirrors and break it and so oh, I'm no longer accepting this mirror but well, that's a reflection. That last mirror has all the secrets of all the mirrors and reflections of Allah when we understood and that's why it's repeating, repeating, every talk keeps coming back. Then you get somebody asking, well why should we have the Mawlid the Nabi mm, Oh that you have to be timed out or thrown out because you're not getting it and you're probably from those other madhabs that don't get it and they're only understanding 
is of a very rude understanding of the reality of Prophet Means with all this teaching of ishq and all these teachings of love and all these teachings of reflection, how could you not celebrate that mirror that will reflect the Divinely Presence upon your soul? And how do you not celebrate Allah every day at every moment, at every breath, for every drop of rain, for every dust and particle that came into existence from beginning of time to the end of time to the day of judgment. And that's why when you read Dalal al Khirat, the eloquence in their praising is it's a praising for Allah but with the adab of Muhammadun Rasulullah that they understood that, Ya Rabbi this greatest mirror that you made that reflects your beatific oceans and reality, that when I praise upon it for every drop of rain, every grain of sand, every, every ray of, of sunlight from the beginning of time to the end of time to the day of judgment, it's all a praising upon the one whom is casting the original light, it's the praisings upon La ilaha illallah. When you praise upon Muhammadun Rasulullah when you love Muhammadun Rasulullah when we do all of these celebrations, it's a mirror in which we're showing, La ilaha illallah we found you Ya Rabbi, we love you Ya Rabbi, we cherish you Ya Rabbi. Shine these lights upon our soul, upon our heart, upon our families and upon our communities. That was the quest. Allah didn't want it so easy that you, oh you think you came to Allah. You were supposed to come to Allah but you were supposed to find Allah Don't think that you found Allah just because you walked through the door. The Arabi came and said, okay we believe and Allah corrected them, what do you believe? You just accepted means you came through step one. You only accepted Islam, you didn't find any iman, you didn't believe. I mean coming to Allah, of course you have to stop the many and come to one. So our life was to come to La ilaha illallah to Allah But Allah said, that was the beginning, that was just step one that you're not an idol worshipper, congratulations. But you didn't get the goal, you didn't get the trophy. You took yourself out of the worshipping of many and idolatry and you came to monotheism and oneness. And as a result of that oneness Allah then begins to inspire through Qur'an, through hadith, through all these teachings and when He really wants them to understand he inspires them to the turuqs and the, to the tariqahs that are Muhammadiyun, they are true to their creed and to their understanding, is to teach everything about the mirror, the mirror of the Divine that which will reflect the realities of the Divine to the souls of people whom move towards it. For if you don't come to the mirror and you think you're supposed to go directly to La ilaha illallah, then what happened? You cut out Muhammadun Rasulullah then you're saying that you're not in need of Muhammadun Rasulullah Maybe you can reflect that directly yourself, astaghfirullah. Everywhere we look every adab is showing and teaching to us. That no, we go to the reflection, we go to the mirror, we go to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad in which that love and that light reflects upon us. And Allah then says, you found me, that you found this reflection on this creation and you found this reality, you found my love. It was a hunt and a treasure hunt for love and ishq. Wasn't so easy you open the door and, oh it's okay Allah I got through the door and understood everything, that was kindergarten. Oh you merely accepted 
the journey has not even begun. The journey begins when the Salik and the seeker saying, I want Allah then Allah will come to find me. I'm not on heaven, I'm not on earth, I'm on the heart of my believer. Then they go around looking from believer to believer how to find Allah how to find this love and this compassion and they start to seek out. And there's many from Tazkiyatul Awliya expressions of awliya, I came to those who made jihad all the time and I didn't find it. I went to those whom prayed all day and I didn't find it. I went to those whom recited excessively and I didn't find it but I sent and sat with the, with the Sufis, the dervish, the real muhibbeen and I found it. I found Allah amongst them. I found what I was looking for of Divine Love amongst them because they were mirrors reflecting that light and that love. So means the true guidance and the turuq and tariqah means the path. These hidden paths that Allah didn't make it like daylight because Prophet gave a hint that my companions are like stars on a dark night. They say that it's a shining day that all my companions will be everywhere but in the darkness of the ignorance of this world those whom are my companions whom love me and I love them they're like stars on a dark night. Any one of them you follow you will be guided. So it was a, it was a isharat and guidance for us, we have to seek in life. When you truly love Allah you seek, I want to sit with those whom truly love Allah How could you be with a group of people who claim to love Allah but they never make zikr? They're never mentioning the one whom they love. That means they, they sat with many different groups, they accompanied many different people. They accompanied people whom were very hard, they didn't want to even give sadaqah to poor people outside the mosque. They were everything for them was a political. So it means many people have understandings and what they believe Islam is and what they believe Allah wants until the seeker one day sits with those whom have an immense love for Sayyidina Muhammad and as a result their hearts are mirrors reflecting. When they reflect the love of Muhammadun Rasulullah it's filled with the reality of La ilaha illallah because Allah's gaze and Divine power is on the reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah Means the nazar of Allah the qudr of Allah is a continuous gaze of power on the reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah And the one who gains the gaze and the nazar of Muhammadun Rasulullah now we understand the satellite because that power flows in tawheed. La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. La hawla wa la quwwata. There's no help and there's no power. Illa, illa, and by billah. That's a laser that, La ilaha illallah, not hitting you. As Mawlana would describe, it's not a Turkish bazaar going everywhere. Otherwise everybody would be delivering the Qur'an. La ilaha illallah flows with the power into the reality and is the power reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah Then Muhammadun Rasulullah is the throne of the Divinely Presence and Allah is the King that sits upon that heart. Barabbika Rabbil Izzatama Yasifoon Wa salaamu ala mursaleen Muhammadillahi Rabbil Alameen Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha